Hi folks, how you doing? I'm Ross Minton. This is Grow Your Own Life. Please like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Well, we're well into September now and I'm still harvesting tomatoes. I also wanted to talk to everyone about uh, growing things um, in and make do and mend and reuse and upcycle and everything else. As you know, I'm a big fan of upcycle. There's oil drums everywhere that have been cleaned out, which I used to grow potatoes in, old plastic plant pots, there's all sorts. And over the years, I've even had some tires. Now, I was all for growing in tires. Uh, I thought there was a great way of reusing something. Uh, these ones uh, I found on FreeCycle. Somebody had painted them and had them in their front garden. And I thought I'd bring them down here to use. And they've been down here for a while. Uh, same with a big tractor tire. You probably can't see it at the very back of the plot over there. Um, and the plan was to grow certain things in it. And then I just started researching into growing in tires just to see what people thought about it and you know whether it was a good thing, whether it was a bad thing. And it turns out, and I've known this now for a couple of years, um, and I've been itching to do this video on it, but I don't know how the best way to do it without sounding too preachy. But basically, growing food crops in tires is bad. It's really bad, in fact. I've done my own research. I'm not just quoting other people now. I've been on the internet. I've looked at various studies. And what I suggest you do is go and do your own research. Don't just take it from me. But basically, the chemicals that use tires leach into the ground there's a lot of nasties in there. There's a lot of heavy metals as well. There's basically a lot of stuff which you would never in a million years put anywhere near your crops. But then people want to grow food in it. Now, as I've said, I thought it was a great idea. I was wrong. I thought growing in tyres was a fantastic way of reusing stuff. But all the studies online I've seen have been pretty shocking, to be fair. Uh, borderline, probably one of the worst things you can do in your garden after using pesticides and all manner of chemicals that way is, is, is used old tires to grow food in. Uh, they're shockingly bad. Um, a good example that was online was leave two tires uh, upright, so the way they should be on a car, uh, for, for about 12 months um, and, and next to them leave a bucket, plastic bucket, and let it catch all the rainwater for 12 months and let it do that. And then empty the rainwater from the bucket and from the tires into a glass and have a look at the colour and I kid you not it's disgusting you get this black tarry chemically smelly water out the tires it is absolutely hideous it is disgusting whereas in a plastic bucket you just get murky horrible dirty pond water um, and I couldn't believe it I saw the pictures online and I was like oh my god that is going into the roots of my plants and then the plants are sucking that up and then I'm eating the vegetables that is disgusting I was I was mortified and especially things like potatoes everyone knows about growing potatoes in tires it's it's the one thing that everyone goes on the internet sees you stack up the tires really high you put potatoes in it and they look really good and they're really easy because you take one tire off at a time and you can harvest and it looks perfect well potatoes being a root vegetable suck up a hell of a lot of moisture they, they, they have to that's why they swell that's why that's why you have to water potatoes regularly to get them to get bigger and that's why in droughts you get smaller potatoes so if the water you've got in your potatoes or you, the water you've got around your potatoes is contaminated with heavy metals and chemicals and toxins and all the things that go into the rubber in, in tires those potatoes are sucking up all those chemicals they can't pick and choose what they can suck up they can't just take the HTO out of that and leave behind the lead, you know, and the mercury and everything else that is in there. They have to suck it all up and then you eat it and then you eat it and they'll feed it to your kids or whatever. So please, you know me by now. I'm not the most preachiest guy in the world. Um, but when I come across things that are really bad, I like to let you all know. And trust me when I say this, please, please, please stop growing in tires for food now look if you want to grow plants in tires then that's a, as in like flowers and stuff that you're not going to eat and that's a whole different beast altogether now personally i'm quite happy with that you see it on the side of the roads in the uk farmers outside their farm drives they pile up tractor tires they plant them they look really nice and you kind of know that's a farm there because of the old tractor tires i like it i think it looks really cool um and i like to see plants and flowers in tires 
but I will no longer be putting food crops in tires. No siree, not in a million years will I ever do that again because it's it's a worry. Uh, and it's it's a worry how it's got into this growing culture of us of using them and no one has really looked into the impact until very recently and just the damage it could do. Now, I know what people are gonna say. My granddad used to do it and he lived till he was 85 years old. And my nan used to do it and she lived till she was 100 and we always ate potatoes out of tires and I have no problem with it and we're not ill. I know, that's fine, you know. We get it, not everyone's the same. You know, my nan smoked 60 cigarettes a day, you know, and she lived till she was 80. You know, I also know people that have died of lung cancer in their 40s. You know, humans, by definition, are different, you know. You know, we, we, we have all different manners of ailments and some of us are more susceptible to things than others. But why take the risk? Some people get shot in the head and live, but you wouldn't go and play Russian roulette, would you? No. So, it's up to you. But as a bit of advice for me, I'd say pack it in. Anyway, I hope that's been a bit of an insight for you guys. Uh, and uh, whatever you do, uh, enjoy it. Uh, but until next time, I'll say again, please subscribe, uh, take care, and TTFN.